Heaven, Father, and Son, Holy Spirit be with us. And whoever and whoever hopes to be first among you shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Adam did not come to be served. For even the Son of Adam did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. And they came to Yero, and as he was leaving Yero with his tall ones and a large crowd, blind Bart Bartamai, the son of Tamai, was sitting by the way, begging. And when he heard that it was Yehushua of Nazareth, he began to cry out and to say, Yehushua, son of Dawid, have compassion on me. And many were, and many were re reprimanding him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, son of Dawid, have compassion on me. And Yehushua stopped and said, call him. And he called the blind man, saying to him, take courage, arise, he is calling you. And he, throwing aside his garment, rose and came to Yehushua. And Yehushua responding said to him, what do you desire I do? And Yusha responding said to him, What do you desire I do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, that I receive my sight. And Yusha said to him, Go your go. And Yusha said to him, Go, your belief has healed you. And immediately he saw again and followed Yahushua on the way. And when they came near Yerish Lane to Beth the Beth Pagai and Beth Anyai as at the Mount of Olives, he sent out two of his tall ones and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately entering into it, you shall find a colt tied on which no one has set. You shall find a colt, a colt, a colt tied on which no one has sat. Loosen it and bring it. And if anyone says to you, "Why are you doing this?" say, "The master needs it, and shall send it back straight, straight away." So they so they went away and found the colt tied by the door outside on the street, and they loosened and they loosened it. And some of those standing there said to them. What are you doing, loosening the colt? And they said to them, As Yehushua has said, so they let the, so they let them go. And they brought the colt to Yehushua and threw their garment garments on it, and he sat on it. And many spread their garments on the on the way, and others were cutting down br branches from the trees and were and were spreading them on the way. And and those going before and those following cried out, saying, Hoshanai, Hoshanai. Blessed is he who is coming in the name of our Father in heaven. Blessed is the coming, blessed is the coming reign of of our Father Dawid in the name of our Father in heaven. Hoshan, 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 Hoshanai, Hoshan, Hoshan, Hoshanai, 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 in the highest. And Yeshua went into Jerusalem and into the set apart place, and and into the set apart place. And having looked around on all, he went out to Beth. Anya with the twelve, as their hour was already late, and on the next day, when they had come out from Beth Anya, he was hungry, and seeing, and seeing at a distance a fig tree having trees, and seeing at a distance a fig tree having leaves, he went to see whether he would find any fruit on it, and when he, and when he came to it, he found none but leaves. Hold on. And seeing at a distance a fig tree having tr having leaves, he went to it whether he would find any fruit on it. And when he came to it, he found none but leaves. Okay, for it, for it was not the for it was not for it was not the season for figs. And Yahushua responding said to it, "Let not let no one eat fruit from you ever again." And his taught ones heard it, and they came to Yerush Lane. Yahushua entering into the set apart place began to drive out those who brought. He began to drive out those who bought and sold in the set apart place, and overturned the tables of the money changers, and the seats of those selling doves. And he did not allow anyone to carry a vessel through the set apart place. And he was teaching, saying to them, "Has it not been written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of robbers." And the scribes and the chief priests heard it, and they were at, and they were seeking how to destroy him, for they feared him because all the crowd and the, because all the crowd was astonished at his teaching. And when, he, and when evening came, he went out of the city, and in the morning passing by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. Then Kepha, remembering, said to Kem, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you, cur which you cursed has withered. And Yushua answering, said to them, Have belief in Elohim, for truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be thrown into the sea, and does not, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says shall be done, he shall have whatever he, shall have whatever he says. Because of this, I say to you, whatever whatever you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you hold whatever against anyone, forgive so that your Father in the heavens shall also forgive you your trespass. But 
your trespasses, but if you do not forgive, but but if you do not forgive, neither shall shall your father in the heavens forgive your trespass. And they came again to Yerushalayim, and as he was walking in the set apart place, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him, and they said to him, By what authority are you doing these? By what authority are you doing these? And and who gave you this authority to do these? And Yahushua answering said to them, I shall ask you one question and answer me, and I shall say to you by what authority I do these. The immersion of Yohanan, was it from heaven or from men? Answer me. And they, re and they reasoned among themselves, saying, If I if we say from heaven, he shall say then, Why did you not believe him? But if we say from men, they feared the people, for all held that Yohanan was a prophet indeed. And answering, For all held that Yohanan was a prophet indeed. And there are false prophets and true prophets. Understand these things. This is why people get confused, and this is why people fall and stumble and think anybody's true, or they just don't know who to. They 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 literally think the true prophets are the false prophets, and the false prophets are the true prophets nowadays. It's just it's crazy. For all, for, for but if we say for men, they they feared the people for all hell that Yohanan was a prophet indeed. And answering, they said to Yahushua, "We do not know." And Yahushua answering said to them, "Neither do I say to you by what authority I do these." And he began to speak to them in parables. And may a man planted a vineyard and put a hedge around it. And a man planted a vineyard and put a hedge around it and dug a vat for the for the wine press and built a, a watchtower and let it and let it out to farmers and went away. And at harvest, and at harvest time he sent a servant to the farmers to receive some of the fruit of the vineyard from the farmers. And they seized him and beat him and sent him away empty handed and again he sent them another servant and throwing stones at him they wounded him in the head and sent him away having assaulted him having insulted him and again he sent another and they killed him and many others beating some and killing some he had one more son he had one more son his beloved he sent him last of all saying they shall respect my son but those farmers said among themselves this is the this is the heir come let us kill him and the inheritance shall be ours. So they took him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then shall what then shall the owner of the vineyard do? He shall come and destroy the farmers and give them vineyard and give and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read the scripture? The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was from my father in heaven, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they were seeking to seize him, but feared the crowd, for they knew for they knew he had spoken the parable against them. And leaving him, and leaving him, they went away. And they sent to him some of the Pharisees and Herodians to catch him in a word. It's sad. This is just lets you know what they're gonna do to us now, brothers and sisters. You know the true chosen. Like like all day, these people are just plotting on us. All day, these people are thinking evil thoughts about us. All day, these people just wanna think about how they can kill us and think about how they can bully us and think about how they can persecute us in a bazillion different ways. It's just sad. Like this, there's so many other things that these people could be thinking about. It says, and they were seeking to seize him, but feared the crowd. All day long, this is all they were. All day long, you think that our Father never wants you to think up and just hate on somebody and just think about how you're gonna kill and see somebody. Do you think that's what your purpose is to every day wake up and just be like every time you see somebody and just be like, I'm, I just can't wait to just think about something so negative and just think about something so evil and just I just want to talk evil and just I want to kill him and I just want to see them. Do you really think you're gonna get into the kingdom of heaven thinking these thoughts, thinking type, th thinking any type of negative type of evil type of wicked type of thoughts? Do you really think you have a place in the kingdom of heaven? Like, come on now, this this stuff is ridiculous. And they were seeking to seize him, but feared the crowd, for they knew he had spoken the parable against them and leaving him. They went away and they sent to him some of the Pharisees and Herodians to catch him in a word. And when they came, they said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true, and it does not concern you about anyone, for you are not partial to any, but teach the way of Elohim and truth. It is right to pay taxes to Caesar or not. Should we pay or should we not pay? And he, knowing their hypo hypocrisy, said to them, Why do you try me? Bring me a denarius to look at it. And they brought it, and he said to them, Whose likeness and, and, and inscription is this? And they said to him, Caesar's. So Yeshua said to them, Give Caesar to what is Caesar's, and to Elohim what is Elohim's. And they marveled at him, and saw this, and saw the who say, there is no resurrection, came to him, and they asked him, saying, Teacher, Moshe wrote to us that if a, that if a brother or that if a brother of anyone dies and leaves his wife behind and leaves no children, his mother, his brother, his brother should take his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. There, there were seven brothers, and the and the first took a wife and died, leaving no offspring. And the second took her, and he died, leaving behind him. And the second took her, and he died, leaving behind no offspring. And the third, likewise, and the seven left no offspring. Last of all, the woman died too. In the resurrection, them, in the resurrection, then when they rise. Whose wife shall, shall whose wife shall shall she be? For seven had her, 
as a wife. 